Hello again, welcome back. This is from my final Brew Republic box, which ended in August. So I've got this at the end of August. And this is a beer from Thornbridge Brewery. I'm not sure where they're from. I'll tell you in a moment though. And it's called Frisco. And it's a California Common style beer. Also known as a steam beer something. I've never heard this. I just read that somewhere, so I don't know anything about it myself. Yeah, so it says it's called Frisco. California Common Beer, ABV 5% and it's from Thornbridge. It's a beautiful can. Uh, Frisco is our take on the esteemed California Common. We have used the experimental hop HBC 522 for, I know nothing about that, but for an alluring aroma of pine and mango, which leads into a light sweetness punctuated with caramel and orange. Wow. This style is brewed for balance and drinkability. Perfect for relaxing with perfect for relaxing with after a long day. Very nice. So where is Thornbridge? Bakewell. I've no idea where that is. D Derbyshire? No. I don't know. Uh, my English geography is pretty, pretty poor. My Scottish geography is pretty poor as well. Anyway, let's crack it open. And we'll see what it's like. We'll be back to it there. Well, it's, it's a, a sort of a golden straw coloured golden colour in the poor. That looks really nice, that. Huh? I don't know, a California common beer. Have you heard of that style? That's a new one to me. I mean, that's not saying much, like, but... Eh... Uh, let's have a wee look at the... the colour. Yeah, well, there's quite a bit of carbonation going on there. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I don't know, a, bit, a pale amber, what would you say? That is carbonated. It's a beautiful white head, but it's not going to last. It's half a finger. Let's uh, release some aromas. That does work, by the way. To test that, smell it before swirling, and then smell it after swirling to t see if there's a difference. And let me know if you if they notice a difference. Oh, that's citrusy, hoppy, like uh, a bit herbal there as well, a bit of dank herbalness, a wee bit of maltiness as well. There's definitely an an orange, citrus citr citrus vibe going on. And a bit of pininess. Oh, that's really nice. It's like, it smells like an IPA. Cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. There is a lot going on. And it's still developing. Getting lovely maltiness there. Well, it's, it's, this goes on forever. Oh yeah, <laughs> now you're getting a slight bitterness there as well. Mixed in with this, the, this, the malt sweetness. And then it's, it's mostly just that bitter finish. Mildly bitter, it's no, I don't know what the IBUs are on this. What it says. Doesn't usually, but... That is a really nice beer. What a, what a strange beast. It's malty, it's piney, it's fruity. Well, they say it's mango, didn't they? I was saying maybe orangey. There might be a bit. 
a wee subtle hint of tropical vibe about it. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. Let's break it down using the craft beer sheet. The tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. And we'll do the light test. I don't know if this has got any value. But it, I think it does have, it does show the colours. No, not accurately, because cameras uh, never pick it up. Sometimes I tweak the white balance in, in my edit as well, so you're not going to get an accurate picture. I mean, there is a slight haste to it there as well. And it is, uh, I don't know, what colour would that be? A, a 40 or 6? Something like that. Peel Amber. Uh, I'll say a, a 5, something like that. The clarity, there's a slight haze to it. Colour of foam, head retention. Did I finish that? I did. Let's be a poor more in. Oh, there's a drip. Bonus. Uh, well, you definitely get a nice head when you do that. <laughs> nice and mousse like. But it does fade a bit to just start that lacing. Uh, I'm going to say it's moderate, uh, the head, the foam. Well, at the moment, it is quite. Um, Mostly it's tightly packed bubbles, but it does fade away. Carbonation visual, yeah, it was fast rising bubbles. The aroma alcohol, not detectable. The hops, yeah, there's a lot going on there. There's a citrus. There's tropical. There's a bit piney resin. There's a bit herbal going on there as well. That's, that's a lot going on. Uh, the malts, the smell. There's another smell there that I can't quite define. The malts though and the smell, it's, it's, there's not a great deal. It's maybe, maybe grainy or biscuity. The esters, forget that. The flavour and aftertaste, the alcohol, I'm going to say it's not detectable. The hot flavour, yeah, it's citrus, it's herbal, it's piney, and it's tropical. The hot bitterness, there is some bitterness, but it's, it's restrained. It's not, it's not overly bitter, it's not like a West Coast IPA or... Yeah, the malt flavour is maybe it's biscuity. There was that sweetness, maybe a bit breadiness at the back. Yeah, there is that, that fruity, malty sweetness. Uh, the malt sweetness, <laughs> that's the medium. The, the palate astringency is quite low. The body is quite drying actually. Makes you want to go back in. Palette carbonation is, is fairly low. Uh, the length finish is long. I'm still getting it. Like a citrusy, like a pithy bitterness. You know, like an orange pith or grapefruit pith. That's the kind of thing they finish there. Grapefruit, maybe that's what I'm getting as well. It's, I'm seeing orange. There is a, there is that because of that bitterness. Anyway, the balance and the, the drinkability desirable style. I'm going to say style's appropriate. I have never had this style of beer before, so I'm guessing it's appropriate. I don't know enough about it. Let's have a wee look on Untapped. Yeah, so it's called Frisco. 
It's from Thornbridge, Thornbridge Brewery, who are in Bakewell. It is in Derbyshire. I'm taking a point there. It's 5% ABV, IBU 0, not listed. One friend's check in with an average of 3. Everyone else has 857 check ins with an average of 3.5. Yeah, I think that's mere respectable. So the it's a California common. California common is defined as the style. The California common is brewed with lager yeast, but fermented the ale fermentation temperatures. I thought it had to be like cold for a lager yeast. I don't know much about that, but uh, there is a noticeable degree of toasted malt and or caramel like malt yeah, character and flavour and often an aroma often referred to as steam beer and made famous by San Francisco's Anchor Brewing Company seek out woody and mint flavour from the northern brewer hops woody what does wood taste like You know, I don't know if that's a power of suggestion. But the mint, when when they say that, it does bring it to your attention. We have picked a mint leaf. Like that. It's not like mint sweets or something. It's like mint of a plant. Maybe that's what the missing thing was I couldn't identify. So... The Frisco is our take, let's see if can. Frisco is our take on the esteemed California Common. We have used the experimental hop HBC 522 for an alluring aroma of pine and mango, which leads into a light sweetness punctuated with caramel and orange. So I was, I was right on the orange. This style is brewed for balance and drinkability, perfect for relaxing with after a long day. Descriptors dry, piney, aromatic, fruity mango. Yeah, I wish I could write a description like that. I mean, I, I suppose that'll come with experience and, and knowledge, obviously. I think this is my 232nd or something. Round about that review. So basically... I, I know nothing, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm very much a novice. I'm just going by what, what I experience, what I smell and what I taste, the colour, what I see. So, it's a, it's a, a learning curve, you know, you have to, it's, I'm, it's a, I've never experienced this beer before. So it's a new one to me. Most of them are new new beers to me. So to be able to write something like that, to describe it as accurately as that, that's quite a skillful thing to be able to do. So maybe I'll get there eventually, I don't know. They, they say you need to become an expert in 10,000 hours. Is it 10,000 beers? <laughs> Probably not. Anyway. I'm going to score this 8.5 out of 10. It's a very nice beer. It's like a, a cross between a lager and a, an IPA. It's an odd, an odd beast. But it's very nice. It smells beautiful, tastes really nice. What more can you want? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta ta fun. Cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. Quality beverage.